Hello friends, hope all you are doing well and fine. Welcome to our channel, Digital Multech. In today's video, we are going to see what is Unigraphics NX, introduction of NX, and how to use it. You will see the interface of the Unigraphics NX software. As you know, it is one of the most powerful tools that is used for designing, drafting, simulation, machine code generation, etc. We will start from the basic to the advanced level. We will see all the modeling features. We will see all the surface feature to view drafting etc friend those who have not subscribed our channel please subscribe to get latest videos and updates so friends let's start with the introduction part of the unigraphics annex okay uh, unigraphics annex is also known as siemens annex it is an advanced high and cat cam case software package originally developed by the ugs corporation but 2007 it is wholly owned by siemens plm software in other among other things, it is used for designing, drafting, analyzing, manufacturing, and machine modeling. The main competitor of the Unigraphics NX is our CATIA, SolidWorks, Autodesk, Sandro, etc. So, friends, we are going to start with the introduction part. So, I am going to close this one whole open part. Okay, friends. Now you can see this is the welcome window of Unigraphics NX. When you open the icon of any NX10 or NX12 or any higher other version or lower version, this is the welcome window. Okay, because you can see this is the welcome window. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to do a new part file. We are going to create a new part file. So I am clicking the new one. If you want to open any file, you can just click this one, any open older file. It will, if I click OK, it will open. Okay, now I'm going to cancel it. We are going to start with the new part file. Okay, I'm clicking this icon. You can see many tabs are coming here. Okay, there is a if you want to create a drawing file, you can select any size and if you want to do simulation, you can click the simulation, manufacturing inspection, etc. So I'm clicking here modeling because we are doing modeling. So you can see this. Different work branches for this one. Okay, this is assembly, this is shape studio, this is sheet metal work branches. We are going to start with the modeling. In the top, you can see it is asking for the unit, it is millimeter or inch. Okay, you if you want to do in inch, you can select inch. Mostly we are doing in millimeters, so I am going to click it in millimeters. In the below that one, you can see it is asking for a part by name. Any name you can give. Which okay, I want to give it test one. Okay, and below that one, you can see the folder. It is asking folder for the folder where it is going to be saved. Okay, I am just clicking it on the default. Now I am selecting okay. So now, friends, we are in the workbench of modeling. This is the idea we are going to play. Okay. Friends, on the top, you can see this area is known as quick access toolbar. In this one, you can see new, you want to create a new, you want to open a uh, folder file that you have created. And this is save, save as, redo, undo, cut. All these are not active due to, uh, we have not done any activity in the workbench. Okay, friends, this is the topmost, it is called quick access toolbar. This is known as, friend, quick access toolbar. Below that one, you can see all the tabs. This is all tabs. You can see the software also. This is tabs. File, Home, Curve, Analysis, View, Render, Tool, Application. Here are the different applications. You can see it also. Modeling, Routing, Sheet Metal, Manufacturing. Okay, friends. These are all known as the tabs. The Below that, Quick Access Toolbar. And below that one, friends, these are known as Ripper Bar. Okay. You can see in the software, these are known as ribbon bars. This part, this whole part is known as ribbon bar, and that is this is also divided into different groups. This is like a sketch, sketch group, feature group, synchronized modeling group, assembly group, etc. So you are all clear what is quick access toolbar, ribbon bar, and groups. On the left side, you can see the resource bar. From here, we can see that constant navigation, part navigation, history, time, many other tools are also. You can see in the software also. 
this is known as path navigation anything we are going to create it will it will you can see the trees happening i am going to show you one example just i am selecting the sketch okay this is true i am selecting the plane then i am clicking okay so just i am creating a triangle okay and rectangle and i am going to finish it and i am going to extrude it okay i am going to give it i just click okay a rectangle is been created so you can see a tree is happening okay anything we to draw will be available here for any editing deleting you can do edit also this is known as resource part okay you can see it is resource part this all part in the resource part we have assembly navigation if we do assembly it will come the tree will come here this is constant navigation any constant will be if you can see here then path navigation we have already discussed now see we have done a sketch and then we have done x2 you can see this one okay another thing among you can see the history just i am clicking this one this part you can see this one you can go to jump to and other tools are also happening in the later part we will discuss this also so friend of we create what is resource part and this part is known as our graphical window one more important tool i want to discuss this is command finder if you don't find any commander or remember so we just want to find fillet just i am going to type fillet and i am going to click ok it will show the fillet feature where is the fillet feature you can see ok the fillet feature or you can directly click so and it, it will also show the other ok edit fillet any other command you want to find just like hold i want to find there is a hold command okay you can see here hold you can go directly here also you can you can find this is a very important you can find any tool you want when below this one all the groups you can find many tools this is the border bar okay in this you can find no selection this is the filters any filter you want to select you can suppose i want to select the edge okay so it will not select the face it will select only the edge as you can see it is selecting on the edge only okay suppose i want to select the face i, I will select here face and you can see the face is selecting you can see the face is selecting if i want to select any dimension okay here it is no dimension see i am selecting full body but nothing is get selected because there is a no dimension okay this is our filter tools these are all the mini tools were okay here one of the more important here you can do rotate fit it will fit in the video okay and this is our different view bar okay view tool you can see here it is a top you can select front you can select time it okay this is different views so friends these are all the basic introduction of unigraphics nx this is the interface we have discussed the uh, all the quick access tool work buttons ribbons okay part navigation if you like my video please do not forget to subscribe now and leave your comment below thank for watching we will see you in the next one take care bye